Hello McWarriors, how's it going and welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. We are trying to play some high tier missions today and I want to bring all the people to the battlefield. So what we do is we wait for the repair time and then we're gonna drop into a nice big battle. I am still looking for Assault Max right now and I have a bunch of items that are, that are already waiting for a build. But I just need the right mech for it. For that reason, we are going to go and play Operation Pendulous Quilt. Kilt? Um, hmm, I had a well-regarded mercenary outfit. Yeah, that is what we want. So it is a well-armed lance. That's exactly what we want. And we want to go for the maximum salvage that we can get here. Even with the random salvage this time, I think. Ooh, actually, maybe not. Because every pick is worth about 450,000 sea bills. Ooh. Maybe we, we settle with 3 out of 12 and we're gonna settle with the primary picks and hope for some good randoms. All right, guys, so that's gonna be what we do. Uh, oh, wait, before we do that, <clears throat> one more thing. I believe I want to bring Ether to the battlefield, and I feel like he has some experience already. Look at all of this. Yeah, man. So, where do we want him? He is a Solaris Gladiator. So we could put him in a melee mech, but with the neural implants and pain shunt, I think he would be lost on the melee. So I think we're gonna make him the absolute biggest assassin that we can get. So he's gonna get Focus Fire. Is he? Yeah, definitely. For the OP accuracy. And I think Tactician for the sensor range and side range. So he can actually see a little bit better. Makes a lot of sense to me. Bam. And I will also give it a, give him a little bit of piloting already. So confirm that. Thank you very much. Here we go. Bullet Trap. Give him some gunnery. Give him some piloting and guts. I'm just, I'm just gonna upgrade these in a convenient way. Just what's available. Uh, Kaspar, Gunnery 10, Tactics 10. Okay, here we go. We haven't taken a look at these guys in a while, huh? Interesting. All right, Finnan, coming in here. Gunhild. Right. Oh, this is great. These are some major upgrades. Gunnery 10 on Hero as well. Perfect. Jamie, same thing. Mm, and Tactics, I think. Let's go. Less hesitation is also good, so we can reserve, uh, res reserve? Yeah, reserve a bit better. You are gladiator, assassin, honest, ex-military mech warrior. Chester, you know what? I think I, I, you want to be the juggernaut guy. Yeah, and I'm going to also give him escapists for maximum evasion. Bam. And nothing else, because he wants to go for piloting now, so he can hit things. Very good. Um, Jester, there's magpie. This is good for tank movement. We want that. Popo. Give him gunnery. Give him guts. Beautiful. And then there's also wizard. Which is gonna get some tactics. Okay, I'm sorry. This is currently broken. I'm gonna fix that at some point. But not right now. Because now we want to go into the fight. 3 out of 12. 1.2 million sea builds. We're gonna load our Alufa Lance. Aluha Lance. There it is. However, the Waka is kind of outdated right now. I think the Timby is... No, wait. Ah, how do we do it now? Wait, 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 wait. Jamie is good on the Waka, right? Yes. He already got 40 affinity, which gives him the second thing. It has hull down for plus one defense. And the Timber is being piloted by Ether. I want him to be the Timber Wolf master in the end. I know that he's worse than Bjorn right now, but he'll get there. He'll totally get there. So, Cloudbuster, Finnan, let's go. And Magpie on the Fusion. And what's the, what's the thing here at 20? Signature reduction, invisibility reduction, and plus one local ECM. The local ECM is great. Um, she needs to really avoid fire with this because it's a glass cannon. But anyway, that's our squad. That is our four and a half against five drop. And we're going to see each other on the battlefield. All right. Let's grab all the goodies and give nothing back. I mean, first of all, we have to destroy the goodies and, and then we're gonna take him. And you know what? We got the high ground. That is perfect for us. It's a very convenient drop here. We have cover. We have a massive accuracy bonus from above. And the enemies will have a massive penalty from below. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, you know what? I want to get information. So let's see what we got. Machine Gun Heavy Clan and Sniper Artillery. Ooh. Ooh. And lots of armor plates. 1,500. Crazy. Shiltron. Nasty thing. Archer. Eh. We have a lot of AMS. I'm not really that afraid of him. Is that only one lance? 
I mean, the loading time was relatively uh, relatively quick, actually. Sprint. Wild and cover. We want to generate some momentum on the Fugin, so he's getting faster and getting more evasive next round. This artillery tank needs to go very, very quickly. So we bring in the hopper. Oh, and we also see an Atlas. WGS. What the hell are you? Who are you? Uh, I see an auto cannon and I see PPCs on the arms. Yeah, one big auto cannon, two big PPCs. Nothing else really. Huh. Weird. But okay. Alrighty then. Atlas coming in. Hmm. Archer. You know what? I think we want to go to cover for them. Oh, we should split up. By the way, we should totally split up because of sniper artillery. So let's drop the Phoenix in uh, here. All right, brace it up. It really seems like we only have four enemies, but there might be drops at some point. Cloudbuster. Done. And obviously our Timberwolf. Also wants to jump over here, I guess. And then we're gonna shoot from this ridge down below. Keep an eye on. Let's go. So, I think the Atlas needs to be go needs to be gone. Samsonov. Samsonov? Who is that guy? Shiltron coming in. AMS galore! Yeah, we also now have another ton of ammo for the advanced AMS. Two tons is, I think, the minimum that you need. So that's really good. If you have an item that costs you three tons, and I think two slots, you better make sure that it is valuable all the time, right? So the advanced AMS is a good one. Um, so therefore we want maximum ammunition for it. We don't get a hit chance here. We don't get a line of sight. I also don't really want to get the Cloudbuster in yet, because it's rather squishy compared to, you know, other mechs. Uh, oh, there it is. Ooh, Infernos. Fair enough. Atlas is turn 15. He's relatively fast for an Atlas. Good. Archer is no match for me. Here's Magpie. And he is also Jamie. Uh, where do we go? For evasion? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna bring the Wacker. <sighs> Man. We have a bit of Innie against him. Two more activations after the Wacker. That means that we probably don't kill this guy, right? Let's go for Archer. Unsettled. Hmm, there's my Fugin. Will we lose it? Will we lose it when we do this? I'm not entirely sure. Ah, AC20 Kaliyama and PPC Donald. Is that all you got? You probably got claws or something, right? I mean, that's a very low weaponry for an Atlas. That is not the guns that a 100 toner brings. There has to be more. Light, enter air, uh, mine dispenser, quad missiles, here we go! Say goodbye to your archer, buddy. It's gonna fall. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, what I can try is overheat the atlas. I will. Let's go incendiary. Boop. Oh, we even got a head injury. Ooh, I love it. And 68 heat is a lot. It's a good chunk. Yeah. Oh, never mind. He shoots his PPC, and because of its AoE nature, he's affecting everybody with the sensor scramble here. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. Still. Plasma? What, what, what do we shoot? Where do we shoot it? Okay, we go for Mr. Archer. Stressing him out, but not knocking him. Something I kind of expected here. Could go for a kick, probably, right? No, only a charge. It's only a charge. So we gotta generate all 13 evasion and go for Mr. Atlas once more. Also, I wanna get closer to see what he's running. We need better sensors. Let's do it. 
Got him narked, which is gonna be helpful. Got him overheated and got a bit of stability on him. All right, let's go up here and hit the Atlas once more. So I'm a little bit afraid of him. Now he's unsteady. Perfect. Um, hmm. I mean, somebody has to destroy the archer. We would run over a lot of fire, which I don't like right now. Let's go over here. So. I think one of them is fire and forget. The other two can be target lock. So we totally have a knockdown. We totally have overheat. What? Oh, something exploded inside that generated a lot of heat in the guy. Good. Um, yeah. Let's bring the Cloudbuster down here. And we start another round. And I really hope that we can follow up on the damage that we dealt to the Atlas already. Making it so that he's not gonna get another shot. Okay. Fine. What is this guy? He's just filled with heat sinks. Gyro Defense. Yeah, he's intimidating. Fine. AC-20 Kaliyama. F okay. And two PPCs, but nothing in the hands that I can see. So, what are you? Who are you? Hmm. Walk to the front. Yeah, let's knock him down. Let's do that before he can do a thing. Here comes the kick. Here comes the AGM. Yeah, no bomb this time. Because I don't want to bomb myself. Kick him. And this should result in a knockdown if we hit. Yeah, totally. And then some pew pew on top of it. Very good. So, Mr. Atlas. I will totally pick the parts of that guy. If I get parts. Multiples. I don't know. Okay, great. That means... That means we can try to hit the... What's his face? SM2. Let me see. Let's go down here and try to hit it. Maybe I'm gonna stray shot my flyer. I just hope that we don't. Okay, we're fine. We hit him. But the impact was very, very low. Ooh, Shiltron! What? Okay! Underestimated that guy, obviously. Shiltron! Hello! That was nasty, man. It kills people! Go for Atlas. Go for, I don't know, headshot. Center, center. Oh no, actually, we hit the head once. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Good. Um, hot seat on. Uh, supercharger could stay off probably we don't need that thing where we are going we want a punch and here's the cool thing the snub nose ppc has no minimum distance this is why i love that thing over the light ppc we can also shoot it into melee and honestly i want to clear the mines so it's fine if we hit the light ppc or if we don't hit the light ppc and hit it on the ground uh let's go wizard bam good eh. Okay, we hit both, actually. So, that is some damage. How much damage did we take? Ten. Ten on the leg. Okay, fine. Uh, ether. Yeah, we're good here. We are totally good. So we have to take this guy. We did not. Really? Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay, so Atlas is turn 14. Do we have any turn 15s? We don't. That means Ether has to do a thing now. Let's jump. Do I care about Atlas? Honestly, not really. Let's try to kill the Shieldron. Because the Atlas already got uh, major injuries, the pilot got major injuries, and he was knocked down this round. I don't think he's gonna really hit anything. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should have taken him out. Maybe. Okay, so there goes the 20. Completely off target. 
And Hero can follow up. Actually, I think what Hero wants to do is kill this. Yeah, I mean, the SM2 has a lot of initiative, so we need to take this thing out. It might be able to shoot us again next round, and I, I really want to prevent that. Which I cannot. Okay. Ooh. Again at the archer. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid little thing. Very good. So, we have a relatively low impact attack. Might as well use it to get the last things out of the Atlas. Some heat sinks destroyed. Some panic. Fine. Let's go. I was kind of hoping that we hit the side. And we actually got a through armor damage. How did that happen? I mean, I'll take it. Okay, the Waka also relatively low impact. One of the MMLs is jammed, so we're gonna try to slowly and carefully destroy the Atlas by completely obliterating him. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, it really seems like we only have one more target to destroy. It's kind of insane. Uh, we're gonna get out of the fire. Pilot Command Aura. Oh, that's, that's a new thing. Oh, I think this is something like like Panic Resist now that we got instead of Resolve Gain because Resolve was too OP and uh, they changed that. Let's go. Nice hit. Very, very solid. Uh, how to do it? We can, we can jump over here to get an attack out. Uh, let's go Vigilant. With a little bit of luck, Ether has the initiative next round to get him. Do we go target lock or fire and forget? I think I really want to hit something here, so I go fire and forget. Instead of the more accurate hit, which might not hit at all. Okay. Okay, this is not burning. Good. And then... Uh, I guess it's gonna be LK for the highest hit chance possible. And that's the end of this. That was easy! Unless something is coming down now and is dropping right on my face, but I, I don't see it. I don't see it coming. Huh? Yeah. Mission we good! Successful. At this part, let's check him out. And I mean, the tanks were also pretty nice. Definitely better than the Cloudbuster, although we have a lot of affinity on the Cloudbuster already, and the higher accuracy, it matters a lot. But does it matter more than like a sniper artillery or what the shield run did? You have only two large lasers and three machine guns. Very accurate large lasers and machine guns, but still, hmm. Sometimes volume of fire is better than accuracy. And the sooner we start grinding into another tank affinity, the quicker we get to that affinity. All right, let's go. Archer, no. Shieldron, maybe. Actually, maybe. MML 9s, three of them, and three light autocannon fives, and three medium lasers. They're good. And it has armor. We have no parts of it yet. 75 toner here. Sniper artillery. Improved communications, okay. Also, affinity at 20 is artillerist with scatter reduction and recall reduction, and more accuracy. And then later on, skilled operator for probe, advanced sensors inside. What does the shield run get? The Tacticon TC-7000? Yes, it's accuracy. Also hardened internals, negative 25% through armor damage. And crit, uh, armor piercing crit resistance, later on high command. For 10% less ability resolve cost for the whole lance. Ooh, this, is, this is nice. And then skilled operator later. Okay, so the Atlas part is probably somewhere in the bottom. Light auto cannons, man. For only 5 tons, you get 35 damage. With decent range. And it ignores evasion. At the cost of a jam chance. 10% is mitigatable, though. Donald PPC, no. Artemis, no. Black, no. Clan Pharaoh is good. That's the thing that I'm actually considering. Powered sensors are also very good. Uh, so you had armor piercing AC5 ammo as well. That's where the internal damage was coming from, huh? 
is nice. This is really nice. So, where's my Atlas? So, you say it combines with the RS variant. That means that I'm gonna totally take that thing. We got some fusion cores. We got the sniper. <laughs> Look at all the crits. Oh my god. Oh, it also has a 30% chance to self-knockdown. What does that mean? Wait, 15% chance for knockdown when firing this weapon in direct flag mode stacks additively with another weapon that can cause a knockdown. Negative 100% chance for knockdown if you braced the round prior. And then also 30% chance for knockdown when firing this weapon in artillery mode. Oh, okay. Based on how you fire it, the, ch uh, the chance changes. Interesting. Okay. I'm not gonna take it. I'll take the Pharaoh. And I do believe... I'll take a shield run part. Maybe getting more and building a good tank later. What else is there? Nothing. Not not really. The double heatsink kit for money, yeah. I mean, there's a C3 master. We have a bunch of slaves and I wanted to start up a network. <sighs> Requires us to put a C3 slave into our... Enix, though, which uh, drops his, his combat efficiency. But it increases the combat efficiency of the backliners. Well, maybe I should take it. Okay. Let's do it like that. Oh boy. Random garbage. Yeah, there is very little that is interesting here. I mean, the armor piercing ammo is fine. But the weapon systems are not great, and I kind of wanted to get more shield run parts, or any shield run parts, but we didn't. Okay. Yeah, totally gonna play another mission, by the way, because we are not done yet. This is gonna be a double battle today. There was another one, also I think like four and a half or five skulls. That was four out of 19 salvage rights or so, so we are potentially getting a lot of stuff out of there. Wanna totally play that. I mean, maybe we get the, the Atlas parts that we need today. You can see, we totally have it in reach. Huh, Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. <laughs> Let's go. But yeah, first of all, we need to do some repairs, especially on the Archer. He took a lot of beating here. It seemed really like the enemies were gunning for them. Just one target, and one target alone. I also wonder how my timber would, would perform in a dual scenario, honestly, because we have a very good stealth system and it is very mobile, being able to jump around and having a good general mobility in it. Maybe I should bring it to the battlefield once. I think what we need is better targeting gear, though. The memorial wall. I'm gonna help Jester forget the troubles. He gained drunk? It's not bad. Avoids pilot eject. And it gives us OP accuracy, but also 5% more stability damage taken, which is fine. This is an actual good trait. Don't drink and mech, everybody. So here we go. Next up. Oh, by the way, we also should upgrade our Argo all the time, all the way. Get that pool. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a pool for high morale. Let's go. So. We are playing the battle, five skull. It's gonna be, wait, gonna read it. We only have a single heavy air asset to task with the destruction of an isolated enemy force. We'd like to hire you to fill out a unit. Ooh, it's one of those, but I would like to run a heavy air asset. Means that one of our guys have to stay at home, but Spiff in his Igor is gonna be nice. I think I'm gonna leave the grasshopper, honestly. It's the worst mech that we have currently, I think. Maybe the Waka. But it's fine. The important thing is that Ether is on the battlefield because I, I really want to train this guy. And... Something is wrong. We are only allowed to drop six units. Oh boy. No Fusion, no Cloudbuster. Well, this is gonna be an interesting mission then. Do I keep the Waka or do I actually go for the Grasshopper now? Hmm. Grasshopper could be in the thick of the fight, but it's also very risky. Well, the bushwalker can stay in the back and shoot and support. 
But all of these guys shoot and support. We don't really have a tank for the team right now. That is... That's a difficult choice to make here. Wizard, what's your piloting? Seven. Finnan has eight, actually. Finnan is better. On the hopper. Uh, debatable. Really debatable. We're gonna see what we can do. So, we got an Igor LRM. The VTOL also must survive. That's important here. Let's drop behind the hill and see what we can do. This is a great opportunity to either just go all in, get line of sight, or stay behind cover in order to drop missiles on our enemies. Catapult R4. I hate to see it. These guys are nasty as hell. Also, Marauder. Also, what is that? It's gone! <gasps> it's a magic. It's a magic mech. So, Phoenix probably can scout ahead because I really want to see. I want to know. So, this is a ghost. This is an archer with pirate advanced AMS. Oh, these eat missiles left and right. They are very good AMSs. And then SRMs. Interesting. Catapult is the heavy laser one. And the hyper laser one. Oh, yeah. And the Marauder is Marauder. Just good old Marauder. Nothing too crazy. I think we should push these guys. They are no match for me. And I think... I mean, they are a match as long as the archer is on the battlefield. Because I am very missile-based. And the archer is gonna eat our missiles like it's breakfast. Yeah. Here it is the hopper. Hopper's gonna hop. Uh-huh. Got it. And then, let's see what we got here. We got two high-explosive bombs, wing-mounted, medium chemical lasers, and cluster bombs wing-mounted, as well as two LRM-20 long-fire with a lot of different uh, ammo types. It's pretty good. But we're gonna leave the Igor behind to make an ambush happen. And there's Ether on the Timby, also wants to go to the front. He and I should be on. But okay. We can manage. So the catapult is a big problem. I think this is, should be my first target. But maybe the archer is my first target to take out the AMS, which will be very problematic in the long run. So. Making. Our damage hurt more or just going for the crazy enemy? I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll see. Radical heat sink kit active already. He got a lot of heat on him. That is a thing that we can build up, uh, build upon. Mm -hmm. Auto cannon 5 connected. But the PPCs did not. Great. Alright, we're gonna go in with 13. We have some Infernos, and I think I'll go for the cat first, because he needs a, he needs heat. Big time. Inferno, high explosives. Here we go. Yeah, and that's what I mean. The AMS completely ate our narc. <laughs> okay, so you might wonder why the heat on the catapult is now lower than it was before. This is already the heat that he starts with the next round, already calculating his cooling in this round, in the, in the next one. So... He is, he is not in a good spot. And we're gonna add on top of that. With all of this. All right. Five? Okay. Well... We added 5 heat to the deal. Let's jump. Oh, maybe I should have sprinted here. I gonna drop some plasma on him. Or wherever I can. 20 heat. That's pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. Here's Timby. 30% is not really good. Let's go Inferno. I'm not able to kill the Marauder. But I might light the... The forest around him on fire. And I got some heat on him. Alright. Don't think that the Igor is gonna get attacked. Or not not gonna get destroyed at the very least. Again, we have so many missiles here. The bombs are just better off in this center, in this big cluster, so I'm gonna drop it on the archer. Great. 
Get high ground. Get damage on the archer. Put it where it hurts. And there's a drop coming down. Uh oh, uh oh. So, let's see. The stupid cat is so damn fast. Let's see if he's gonna shoot. He does. That should generate so much heat on him. No? Oh, you got a radical. Radical heat sink and an emergency coolant system. Heat dissipating armor. Oh, that means heat doesn't really affect him externally. Good to know. We are not dropping any more heat on the guy. That's why we didn't generate any. That That is completely irrelevant now. All right. Archer stabilizing again, which is unfortunate. But one of his AMS is, I don't know, jammed? Empty? No, jammed. Unjammed again. Okay, so that means we'll dump... We dumped the heat on the Marauder and we're gonna dump the damage on the cat now. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> this is more like it. Okay. So, Marauder, don't do anything, please. Still going for it. Crazy. But since he's just a regular Marauder, yeah, he's staying hot. All right, let's go, let's kick. Let's uh, not drop any of these. I wanna destabilize him. Please hit. Yeah. Unsteady now. We knocked him. Ooh, beautiful lag attack, beautiful. It's very focused damage there. Good, now he's an easy target for me. Now I'm gonna attack him a little bit more. Oh, but not with him. This is another great attack for the archer. Right. So that guy's down. Ether and his MMS. Hmm. I mean, who's left? We have Igor. I should attack this guy. I know, I know. I wanted to hit the Marauder with more heat. But we have to finish him. I really hate that the Saito also is gone. I really wanted that exchanger. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Ooh, we could go for a melee attack now. Let's go Hot Seed on. Let's go Supercharger. Although I don't believe we need the Charger. But anyway. Go for the punchy punch. Here we go. Bam! On the face. And that's the cockpit down. I love it. Pilot lethal damage. And we got a bunch of heat on our mech now. Okay. No bombs. We need them later. Dead fire is good. Catapult is down. So what I'm hoping for is that we have higher initiative than the Marauder and we can, I don't know, either kill or overheat him next round. Also, Al Jafari or Al Jafri. Uh-huh. It's coming in, intercepting us. Another drop zone? Oh god. We've got a razor back, another razor back. A Mackie and a Wraith. Ooh, these guys. These guys mean business. Look at all these weapons. I mean, the Razorback is, what? what is that, a medium mech? It's not the greatest mech in the world, but he has a lot of small weapon systems. Alright. Let's give Hero Vigilance, so he has high initiative next round. We probably need it, and we're gonna try to yeah, kill this, which we didn't get. Oh, he's not doing anything. That's perfect for us. Means we can direct our guns to the right side and use our punch ball to punch the Marauder. Good. I'll take it. This is very risky. Not this round. This round, this round they will not do anything. They will just maneuver a little bit after the drop. Hmm. I was hoping to hit this Razor back. Lots of flamers. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this is this is really weird. But I think it makes sense moving to the right side mostly because the left side will be overrun by enemies in a second, and that might be a kill. The DNI, I always forget about turning it on. It was a kill. Proto heatsink. Oh, gone. All right. Get the Igor back behind the hill so that if these guys are nasty, we have some cover. On the Mackie? Last 40 dead fire missiles. Let's go standard. Alright. Good enough. Uh, and I want Finn in now. Let's take down the Marauder. By actually attacking him from the front. Let's do it! Nice. And boom. Another pilot kill due to multiple punches to the face. Okay. Great. Great hit chance here. Decent hit chance on the Razorbacks. But all of them are guarded currently. So we re really wouldn't deal that much damage. I'll take a regular shot. I mean, with a bit of luck, we have enough damage to crit him. I mean, that's heat, and that's a medium laser destroyed. And I believe the thumper is on the right arm of the mechie. No, it's on the left arm. Okay. That's what the, the model tells me. More forces! And these are enemies as well, by the way. They might attack each other. And yeah, this seems to be the thumper cannon on the left arm. Okay. So, what do we have? Oh, long tom. Oh, long tom, baby. Pirate manticore. Lots of missiles. Nasty as hell. Archer... Okay, can deal with it. Urban mech, battle armor. And then, of course, the long-term artillery, which needs to go. I mean, depending where they shoot. The long-term could also go for, like, the mechie and his friends. Let's move down here. It's a very good hit chance on the Wraith, but I think I'm gonna keep this guy. Okay. Nothing critical here. Alright. Got him unsteady, though. And yeah, these fools will just take their turn again. After the drop, they will just move. It's not gonna be that dangerous yet. Why? Man, you must really hate that guy, right? What did he say to you in the cantina? That you just go for a full-out attack in his back. <laughs> friendly fire is not friendly. Holy crap. You completely obliterated your friend. Wow. And that was three medium pulse lasers. Nothing else. Insane. What? Holy hell. What a what a champ. Um. Yeah, we're gonna orient ourselves to the other side already. I don't care about the Mackie too much. Maybe I should. I don't know. Wait a second. Hold up. You are an urban mech squad. 120 ton. Wait, 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 wait. That's crazy. 120 ton. AC-20, AC-10, Hyper Assault 40. Bunch of small lasers and an MRM-30. What? Lots of rockets. Um. Uh, can I please nope out of that? I will attack the long term. Boom. Narked. Yeah, we need to take things out of here. Holy crap. The Hyper Assault 40 is exceptionally good at destroying flying units and battle armor. I'll turn off that hot seat. We don't need it right now. And I don't really want to jump her. Uh, maybe I should. Because it gets us further. Okay. I will not shoot my PPC, not the light one. Yeah, I think I want to be at zero heat next round. Ah! Take that, Mr. Long Tom. Ooh. This is uh, getting serious here, all of a sudden. 
Vulture is running, Vulture is killing. Not quite though, not quite. He's gonna come around the hill next round and help out a bit. We still have the Timby with the micro missiles, which also kinda wants to help out here against the stupid long tom. Because I am diminishing the targets for the long term, big time. Can I get somewhere where I can then... Okay, here's, a, here's the thing. I'm gonna first of all get into the water so I can shoot all of my weapons. I'm gonna go Vigilant. We'll shoot this Atlas, uh, sorry, Mackie, and then jump on the hill next round to maybe get a target next round. So we have enough stability now to do that. Pull it off. The Mackie is down. The only thing that they have now is the Wraith. Which, again, might not be the smartest choice. We'll see. The Hyper Assault is a problem. Will it kill the Igor? Not right away, but it has the chance to do so. You know... I will mainly stay away from the thick of the bite. And I go with the hit chance. This is 38. This is the best we can get. Fire. Gotta start dealing damage to these guys. And the funny thing about them is that they, they have no critical components, so... Takes its. I would have loved to not use my AMS to protect the Wraith, actually, but okay. Now, what I mean is that um, these guys have a lot of armor and structure individually, so taking out firepower is not gonna be easy. We have to grind through about. Was that 800? Yeah, 750 structure and armor points per unit to take down something. You know, I don't know which Herbie holds what. Probably one auto cannon per and one missile per and then one of the small lasers. So one of the squad units has the, the missile weapon and the laser, the other has the hyper assault and a laser, and the other one has an AC-10 and the other one has the AC-20 and the laser. So taking these down to diminish their firepower is a hard task compared to a mech. Cannot jump up there. Can jump up here. Ugh, there's no hit chance. I will leave it at that for the moment. Maybe the Manticore is coming a bit closer, then we have a better angle or hit chance later. Good. That's the enemy archer. But we have a lot of AMS. Holy crap. And there's a long tom still. That is unchecked. This hurts, and it also activates... Oh god, our radical heatsink kit. The Manticore is a nasty target, actually. I wasn't aware of that. So anyway, uh, the long tom needs to go. We already narked it. So we have a good hit chance on him. But he's gonna get one shot out at the very least. Oh no! Oof! Direct hit. Direct hit. My Archer is eating crap today. Okay, let's go. It's better than nothing. This is actually very good. Yeah, armor is getting slim. Still 77. I leave the Wraith on the battlefield, by the way. He's not that dangerous to me, and I might uh, benefit from the enemy attacking him and not me. Kill? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, long time down. Very important kill. I think next up is the Manticore, because he is nasty. At the same time, he dropped the rockets already, so it's not that big of a deal anymore. Pirate LRMs, though. Hmm. We could kick. 130 back armor. I don't think we're gonna kill this. Don't you dare missing. Good. Now the lasers and the missile. Okay. 
got him narked. Uh, as I was saying, I'm gonna leave the Wraith as a potential ally target. And we will follow up here. The bomb will actually hit the Manticore as well. Uh, uh the, the, the Phoenix, sorry. The Phoenix, the Phoenix, the Phoenix. Dead fire is good. I go vigilant for high any. Thirty-three armor and thirty structure. We are so unsteady. Let's see what we can do here. Is there a chance to go for a uh, punch? Please tell me yes. Is that it? Come on, we should be able to do something here. Uh, I mean, this guy hit me. He has line of sight to me. I should have line of sight to him. And since I'm able to sprint that far, I should be able to hit this guy. But we don't. And turn it off again. Death from above. 50%? Really? Okay. One sec. Oh, I, I screwed it up. Uh, I totally screwed it up. Now I... Because of the death from above trigger, I cannot shoot anymore now. Hmm, how do I do it? Oh, now I can do it again. Okay, cool. So, do we move or do we do we jump? I think jumping gets us further and generates more evasion. But there's an AC-20 in front of us. Let's jump to the sidelines. And brace it up. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Scary. Very, very scary. Okay, Manticore. Get wrecked. Oh no. The wrong hits on the wrong sides. Uh, here's Irby Squad. Holy crap. That's what I'm talking about. At the very least, he hit his friend, but not to the full extent. Uh oh. Oh, we are too slow, and there's a manticore now right in front of us. We are unsteady. Okay, manticore. I need to respect them more. I really do. Wraith, sure, whatever. Okay, here it is. Is he gonna. It's not going for my flyer. Gives us options, but they still have an archer who can do it. Oh boy, don't kill him. I need this guy. I also need this guy in order to finish the mission, so we now go to full retreat. Spiff, get out of here, okay? I mean, I could go for a right side attack. Right side shielding situation. This is so risky. But I believe it is worth... Okay. So this should settle the, ma settle the manticore. Got him. Totally got him. Now we somehow have to deal with this urban squad. And I believe it's going to be my next target. Totally. Kind of hoping that I could punch the archer, and I can. Okay, so hot seat on because it also gives us more melee damage. And man, we need to hit this guy now. Big time. Yep. Good. Head punch again! He strikes once more. Mm. I love this build. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we vigilance it up. And... We want to sprint away, that's for sure. We're gonna drop all the bombs on them. So... High explosives. Small lasers, narc. Good. It's 
We got him narked and we are making progress, but they are so sturdy. They are still at full combat capacity. Hey, the timber. Oh God, we don't have vigilance right now. Fine. Whatever. We gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, this time... Oh. He and I on. Um... I need to cool a little bit, so we go with target lock. Great. And we won the initiative. Let's fly. Bomb, missile. Kablam! They're so sturdy. How do we... How do we punch them? How do we get them? Oh, God. What a mission, man. I was not prepared for this squad. It's crazy. But I love it. It's a very dangerous foe. 120. Oh, it's a super heavy, technically. A super heavy squad. Huh? Here's the Wraith. Oh, he's coming to my spot. Nah, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Do I take care of him now? That ERPPC it might, might be bad for us. But we have a bigger fish to fry. Okay, let's go here. And we're gonna attack Mr. Irby. Ooh, because of it's a squad, because of the squad nature... Oh, we're jammed. Okay. Uh, they also don't care about heat. It's also a huge benefit for this. How do you react to Typhon? Ooh, very well. Good. Let's go. Um, I should have Sansa locked first, I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that should give us a major damage bonus now. And I will totally go for the punch. Whatever that means, 383 damage? I'll take it. And just in case we miss, let's try to get some higher initiative next round. There's no good spot, we will always end in the fire. Might as well... Oh. Huh? Ah. Yeah, we have to go in from here. Let's try. Come on! Yes! Alright, so we got a bunch of instances of damage that spread out all over the little guys. And that archer needs to go. My hit chance indirectly is also not bad. See, I don't really want to get hit anymore. So, I will dive down and I will shoot... Standard ammo and Artemis against the Wraith. Yes. Take him down. Somebody has to. Okay, Spiff is running. Totally. He's just gonna get out of here now. Still want to be able to shoot indirectly to get some damage out at the very least. And we do, thanks to the acid from the Typhon ammo, we actually deal a lot of damage per missile. Good. Here comes Timber. Vigilance for the stability. Difficult. Let's go. Anything crit? Come on. They are still at full combat capacity. They still have all of their weapons. They still have everything. But hey, I won the initiative because of Vigilance. I'm gonna do it again next round, if there is a next round. Okay. Only got standard ammo left. Eight damage. Oh, here we go. One unit down. We got the missile guy. Great. That's good. That is, that is something. Still? <gasps> Nothing? Oh, you screwed up, buddy. Let's kill you. That's the end. Ooh. 
Almost. Almost. Good. I believe that this is the last barrage that we need. I know we shot 10 missiles too, um, too little here, but it's okay. Lethal damage! What a squad! Okay! Mission successful. I need it in my life. I want to have it. I mean, do I? In the end, it is just urban mags with a bunch of good weapons, right? It's very slow, but it's four units in one. And the lack of heat management is actually quite nasty. It's, it's handy. The Hyper Assault Gauss is fine. And I do wonder if you can outfit them in a, like a regular way. Can you change their weapon systems? Can you, you know, make them better, upgrade them in certain ways? What about fire control systems? Uh, electronics in any case. So squad units are a little bit finicky when it comes to that. But hey, we made it, man. We made it. And that without actually losing the VTOL and that without losing any of my mech parts. So here we are in the salvage screen again. Hmm. There is a mobile long tom. There are four parts of a mobile long tom. This is a very good tank. Let's see. Marauder. Yeah, fine. The Manticore was nasty. Razorbacks. Cool. Wraiths. Yeah, of course. The Advanced Pirate AMS. The problem is the... It had some, some problems here, right? Jam chance. Yeah, has a huge jam chance. Otherwise, it's just great. And it's very heavy. Five slots, five tons. Ooh, this is rough. Lots of pirate flamers. I'm not gonna pick flamers when we have other things here. Ooh, battle computer heat, battle computer guts. Both interesting. Uh, distill is not really that good. We get some more resolve for the, at the cost of initiative. It's a cockpit item that I, I don't want because there's better stuff to put in your cockpit. Mm. Flamer fire control system. If you really want to go and push for flamers, take this. 25% more heat damage. Massive. If you can, boat lasers. Lower melee punch, protective padding, proto double heat sinks. Range finder, reinforced legs mark 2. Let me see. So we take less kick and stability damage from kicks. Uh, we also have case. And we get more armor and structure. 30% more. For a guy that tends to put his ammo in the legs, this would be a great item to have. But then again, there's better things. Lots of long term stuff. Hydra ammo! It would be massive for our overheating mech. Absolutely massive. And then there's the goodies down here. It's a part of a mechie. It's an XL. It's a hyper laser chain sword. How does it work? Urban mech. Come on. It's an Irby squad. You also probably very, very slow, right? <laughs> the stock roll is wreck your day. <sighs> Go faster. At 40 affinity, you get plus one move point. Cool. I don't know. The funky thing. I don't know if we're gonna get another one. I just pick it, you know, just just for the sake of it. I'll also take the Hydra ammo because it's gonna be a game changer. And then I am actually torn between a Mackie because Mackies are not bad if you make them good, or the long term artillery, which would be fantastic for our tankers. Heat banks are nice, but not necessary. The fire control system is not necessary. Exchanger is okay, but I want a double plus, and this is not really worth it. The 5% is barely in, has barely an effect. The battle computer heat, though, is 10%. Uh, makes a difference. It's good. Kinda wanna have it. Kinda wanna have it. But what I really want is better... It's just better better guns on the board in form of uh, tracked units or VTOLs. And this long term is gonna be good. So that's gonna be my pick. We get Catapult. Nice. Ghost, Ghost. Mobile long term times two. Marauder, Urban Mag. Wraith, Wraith, Wraith. Engine Core. Get out of here. Engine, get out of here. Guardian ECM is gonna stay. The Heat Bank Plus. I think we have a double plus lying around. So I'll drop this. Some double heat sinks. Some long term ammo. And then of course the Hydra. 
which is gonna be a big difference as i was saying but yeah guys that has been it for today i hope you enjoyed it and if you did as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or yeah leave a comment to help out with the algorithm and tell youtube that you like my content i hope to see you next time goodbye